Hello and welcome to this Microtasker Shorts video. We're going to be looking at MQTT, that is Message Queuing Telemetry Transport. We're going to be seeing it in action on some Kinetis Freedom Boards. The intent of this video is not to explain all the details of MQTT. What it's going to do is going to be a practical demonstration where we're going to have a broker. Now we're going to be using the Mosquitoes test broker, which is online somewhere. This is its IPv4 address, which we're going to be using to contact it. Then we're going to have locally three devices. These are going to be freedom boards. We're going to use two K66 boards and one K64 board. These are their local IP addresses. Now on the serial ports of these freedom boards, I have a command line interface. This is the first board, the second and the third. The first board is running, now I'm going to power up the other boards. This is the second Freedom K66 board powering up, and this is the Freedom K64 powering up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the MQTT menu on each board, which is menu number 9. And the command we're going to use first of all is the MQTT connection command. And I'm going to connect to the broker's address 37 187 106 16. Here we have the first device connected. I repeat with the second and third devices. Now I have the three devices connected to the remote broker. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to subscribe to some topics. Starting with this one here, I'm going to subscribe to the topic using MQTT sub microtasker test one. Now I have to be careful here because the topics are case sensitive. Here I've spelt this with a capital T, capital T so I'm going to have to be careful to do the same on the other ones which I want to communicate with. Here I've subscribed to this topic. I'm going to sub subscribe first to another couple of topics as well. For example, we're going to make a test 2 and a test 3. Using the command MQTT, TOP for topic, I can get a quick overview of these. Now the second device here, I'm going to subscribe to Microtasker, subtopic, test 2 and to test 3. On the third board, the Freedom K64 board, I'm going to also subscribe to a couple of topics. Test 1 and test 2. So now we have an overview of the topics which these are devices are subscribed to. Now we can send or publish some messages. Here I have the possibility to publish some test messages. I use MQTT publish. I'm going to call my uh, topic let's say test 6 and I'm going to send it with a quality of service 2. Here we see it's been published. That means that I published a message belonging to this topic test 6 but because nobody subscribed to that it's given to the broker and nothing else happens. So we can do something more interesting. Right, let's publish a message which belongs to topics which are being listened to by all of these devices. So a topic which is common to all of these devices is the Microtasker Test 2 socket. So if I now publish a message either to Microtasker Test 2 like this, I'm going to give it a quality of service 1 and we see that it was published and the broker realizes that there are three devices uh, interested in this topic. So what happens, it was relayed back here, here and here, even to the device that published the message. Here we see that we received a message of 14 bytes, so this is just a small published message. This was received on our subscription with the reference number 2. 
On this device it was received on the subscription reference number one. On this device reference number two. That means that the software which is handling the receptions here can very simply use this to relate it to one of the topics that it's interested in. So I'm going to repeat now uh, showing you another method of sending a message to or publishing a, a message. I can do publish command again. This time I'm going to publish not to the uh, topic as a string but I'm just going to say well publish one on my reference to. So the same thing happened again because I just told it to automate the topic for me and this time I sent it with a quality of service 2 but I have the possibility to do it with quality of service 1 we see here the quality of service 1 bit is set and also do a quality of service 0 in each case all of the devices are getting the information sent on to them so if I now publish to uh, let's say the test 3 a topic now what happens here is that uh, I this board receives its message because let's check again MQTT topic list it was sent for the topic reference 3 this device is also subscribed to this topic so it also received it and the device over here which isn't subscribed to this topic it doesn't receive it I'll send a couple more so we can see it happening again that. And of course I could send one from here which uh, is only shared with the second device. That would be simple by doing topic reference number one. Here we see that I received my topic reference one and also the third device does but the second one doesn't. I repeat it again a couple of times. There we can see it happening. Now just before completing I've got uh, the Wireshark up and running here. So we're going to have a look at a, few, a bit of the messaging which is taking place in Wireshark as well. Let's restart the recording on um, Wireshark and uh, let's do a bit of publishing again. Let's publish that one which is going to be shared with the device 3 again. You will see the data being thrown around in the internet. We have the published. We have a uh, quality of two publish handshake, which is a four way handshake, and these are receptions back from the broker to the two devices. Here I have uh, TCP layer not still enabled. I can disable that by saying, let's just look at MQTT content, and there we have the pure MQTT content which is uh, taking place. Let's have a go at uh, publishing something back in the other direction. I'm just going to remind myself where the topics are and this one here I'm going to I'm going to unsubscribe let's unsubscribe from test one because I'm not interested in that anymore and we see here the unsubscribe request and the ACK uh, what you'll also see here occasionally are some ping requests and responses now these are the idle timers uh, if we didn't do this then after several minutes the uh, broker would and wouldn't know that we're still there anymore and it would uh, uh, st drop the connection for us so we have a keep alive in the background going on from to all of these devices to keep or maintain the persistent connections so let's try publishing something from this device let's do publish a message on its reference to now uh, we see that reference 2 or the topic number 2 is shared by all of the devices so we had a responses on all of them and again we saw a bunch of messages there so let's do it on number 1 instead and uh, in this case only this one is listening or is interested in topics 1 because we unsubscribed there let's check that we're not subscribed anymore so it's receiving its own publications uh, let's do maybe a quality of service zero just to get a quick idea of the difference this was the quality of service two message received release complete if I drop it down to quality of service one we see we get a message and an ACK 
and if I drop it down to quality to service zero then the only thing we get are some messages going out we don't get any hacks at all okay we've seen some freedom boards uh, doing some MQTT work but uh, what's it actually good for well imagine these devices have sensors and they have some actuators on themselves what we could do is we could be sending the temperature for example or other input information and all this information will automatically be updated at any device uh, in the whole of the world which happens to subscribe to for example this temperature topic what we can also do however is send commands to of devices which who are listening or who are interested in a command type topic so what I could do is I could send them to uh, one command here to a topic and all of the devices uh, who are interested in that topic will then interpret the command and maybe will turn on an LED so in fact I could from this single location here activate a switch and get LEDs to light up on hundreds of thousands of devices who happen to be um, interested in this topic what I can also do is I can do software updates uh, obviously we have to have a protocol which will allow that above the MQTT messaging layer but it would be possible for this device to send a software to the broker and the software would then be uh, sent on to all the devices who are interested in the software update topic so this device could then clone um, many many devices across the whole of the world just by sending the new software version to the broker thank you very much for watching the video I hope you enjoyed seeing a bit of MQTT in action go to the Microtasker website you can get binaries to which will run on your own freedom uh, K66 or K60 four boards or just get the open source version of the Microtasker project and build an MQT project with it for yourself.